Hello there, and my name is Dead Possum, and this is a tutorial. And today we're going to be, I'm going to be doing a series of basic Action Script free tutorials, and it's going to end up with us making a 2D game. So first thing you need is Flash CS3 Plus, anything that has access to Action Script free which is any Adobe Flash professional product. So when you open it, it will come up with this. And you want to click ActionScript 3.0, which is here. Or we can do Air for Android and iOS. So I'm actually going to do Air for iOS, because I'm going to make this into an iPhone app. And we're going to make it to the landscape portion so we're going to do 960 by 640 instead of 65 by 960 and this should make it like that <laughs> now if as soon as we make up the products you want to call the first layer actions and lock it and also save your document it's always good to save your document just it's just a good habit I'm going to make a folder for this and I'm going to call this 2D plot. Let's call it 2D game, aren't we? And we're going to call this just 2D. That's what the game is going to be called 2D. <laughs> because I can't be bothered thinking of a name. Okay, so what we're going to do is you want to have the workspace here okay, on essentials and we want to make it own workspace so we want to get this align put it there and then you want to go to window the panels and scene and put it there and then just create a new workspace call it someone and call it my name and that's the setup what you want how I keep it anyway. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to right click on the frame, go to actions, it should open this code box. This is where you're going to store most of your code and that's how is mainly the basic the most basic way to do it. So I'm going to cut my code and First thing you want to do is want to stop the frame. And to stop the frame we just want to call one function which is stop with open close back brackets. And that should keep it on this frame. Then we want to add our first event listener. I'm gonna come to it as an event listener. And we want to reference a stage. And then Add event listener. We're going to make event type, and the type is going to be an enter frame. So every time it enters a frame, it'll call this this um, listener. So I'm going to call this I don't know date game. And basically, and all a event listener does is it when something happens, it listens. For something to happen, and then it calls the function, which is what this is called. And now we're going to add the function because if we don't add the function, then it will give us errors because it doesn't like it if you don't add the function, as you can see. Because it has an undefined property. So we're going to do function, which is the command for function, and we're going to put the name of the function. We're going to open brackets, we're going to name the function, which is going to be E for me, which is going to be event, and then do the type. Close brackets, which it should automatically import your your um, import if you're latest, if you're using the latest of Flash. If you're not, just put this in yourself. Instead of doing event, do uh, dash, because an asterisk because an asterisk means all so it imports every single bit of it 
And now we have our first piece of code. As you can see, it gives us no errors if we play the movie. Okay. So, as you can see there, when we open the flash file and run it, it didn't go landscape. And this is because in F iOS it has its own settings for publishing. And it made it defaulted to the aspect ratio being on a portrait. We want to make it to landscape. We want to make it full screen because it's going to be a game. We're going to keep it for the iPhone and iPad actually. And we're going to make the render mode auto and make the resolution high. And at the moment we don't need to do anything apart from the tick your language which the application is using. You can name it, you can give it a version if you want. I'm just going to press OK. And now if I save and open the Flash movie, it should automatically put it in a landscape position. Simple. Now we all want to do is we want to get started. So we're going to create a new layer and we are going to add our player so we're going to name the layer player and we're going to draw our player you can obviously be more artistic but I am rubbish artistic so give me a second while I make my player Okay, I have created my player. Well, I haven't really created it. I've just got it from my animation intro. This is my character, Dead Possum. And what I've done is when I've drawn it, I've put each individual part in a group, as you can see. And this makes it easier to animate later when we're doing animation. So to make a group is all you need to do is draw your thing that you want and then you just press Ctrl and G or I think you can also convert to where's the convert to uh, I can't find Control combine thing. It's on one of these settings to find. <laughs> oh, there it is. Control and G to group. And ungroup. And Control to B to ungroup it. Okay. So now we have everything in groups and stuff. <coughs> All we need to do is highlight the whole move, or the whole character. Right click and convert to symbol. Or you can go to insert a new symbol I want to convert it to a symbol and we're going to call this player let see from movie clip and we're going to give it a new clip library root yep. and we are just going to go ok so now we have our player MC and if we export our movie should have just him standing in the middle. If it doesn't crash on me. Which it is gonna crash on me. Yep, it is. Okay, shut up. <laughs> As you can see, it just they can't do anything, <laughs> does nothing. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to add a bit of movement into this character, which we will do in the next tutorial. Um, I'm going to start working on that as soon as I do it. Make sure to instance name this to player before we go. So, oh by the way, an instance name is the name which you reference in your code. So I'm going to go and I will see you in the next tutorial. So remember to rate, comment, and subscribe or 
do whatever you want. Stupid old beer. See you later. Bye.